Hey everybody, Logan here. Today we're covering another controller, but this is a little, 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 little bitty different. Because we're not really focusing on the controller as much as the value. There's a ton of controllers you can get out there that are $20 or less, some that are around $30 or less that give you a, a plethora of features. But these days, prices on everything are going up. I've talked about this ad nauseum in other videos. Controllers, we need them. If we're gonna game, we need them. Controllers break, they get drift, they get damaged, but they're not cheap. This time I found a good one. Hopefully it's a good one, let's put it that way. I was shopping on Amazon looking for a good brand name that I know for a wired controller or wireless that I can get for rather inexpensive. And wireless apparently didn't happen. But this one I came across. And that's Nyko, the Prime controller. I got it with Amazon Prime. Funny on Prime Day. Funny, how about that? But $10. I know there's a lot of people out there that need to replace controllers or need to have a second controller or uh, have a little brother or sister that tends to break or damage their controllers. This might be it. $10, Nyko, standard wired controller. Does have rumble, which a lot of them don't these days. You're gonna pay more for a wired controller sometimes with no rumble. This also has turbo. That's one thing that you're seeing pretty much standard on a lot of these third-party controllers to differentiate themselves. Can't really put turbo on it if everybody else is doing it, say you're differentiating yourself. Nintendos don't have turbo. So that's really the big thing. But $10. You can buy the Nyko Prime Controller Wired on Amazon. As of recording, you can still get it for $10. I don't know if they're going to change it, if it will go up, or if it will disappear, or if it comes from a different seller. We know how that works, especially when you're buying online and through Amazon. But at $9.99, let's see if this is worth it. Because, you know, a cheap, inexpensive, inexpensive switch controller made by Nyko might just be what you need. And there we go. Prime controller from Nyko. Wired controller with turbo and rumble function. Works with Marchi Avec. I don't know who Marchi Avec is. I get it, it's French. Switch. Let's take a look on the side. We got turbo uh, function. We got a USB connection and a LED indicator. Oh my gosh, there's LEDs. Sorry. Wired USB. Ergonomic grips. It makes your hands spin. See? Makes your hands... Okay. Lights up. It got some rumbly shakies and turbo function. Got your features. Includes one wired controller. <laughs> Did you really need that? Now, the box didn't come in the greatest of conditions from Amazon, but it's Amazon. So, but what do I expect from a $10 controller? I don't expect there to be anything fancy in here. I don't expect the build to be amazing. I don't expect anything besides a basic box that falls apart. What? What? Uh, the box didn't even... Okay, it's a $10 controller. It's gray. Glad I don't put these controllers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got a grip on the back that I do not like. That is. N oh. <sighs> Oof. That's weird. You know when something just gives you the, the heebie jeebies? It gives you the. It, like a goosebump kind of thing feeling? Ugh. I don't like the way that feels. That's really bothersome. I'll get over that. Uh. I don't like this. 
at ten dollars, what would I expect? You know, I, it normally I don't get bothered by things like that, but that just feels so weird. The shoulder buttons mimic the Switch Pro, but it's a button press. It's a actual button press. Where at least the Switch Pro ones give you that feeling that you think it's a controller, but it's not, and you're like, you know, that's a button you're pressing. This one's just a solid, but it's like a button imitating a trigger worse than the Switch Pro one. Oh, I hate that feeling. That's glossy. I think that's... That's finger sliding right there. No, that D-pad just feels off. It Too mushy. Clacky buttons. This is a $10 controller through and through. I almost don't even want to bother testing it, but I'm going to. I don't like this. I'm already not liking this controller. But I get it for $10. It is what it is. It's $10, right? And it doesn't have a removable cable. At least a lot of the wired ones these days have a removable cable. So you can display it or put it away or not have to worry about if someone runs in front of you and pulls it, it'll pop out. Not, not this case. So, uh, does it say how long this cable is? No. Garbage. Garbage. How long is this cable? I hate these type of. I don't see anywhere that says the, the length of the cable, and that's not in English after that. Is this any more in English? No. I just want to know the length of the cable. Are you really going to make me measure it? Because I'm not going to. I'm going to take a guess. It's pretty short. Um, my table is about, I know you guys can't see it. I'm gonna say this is about a five foot cable. Maybe six, it looks more like a five foot cable. But uh, with that being said, oh, let's plug it in and test it. So we're gonna test this with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna tell you right now, Plug it in, it does not wake up the system. I tried it, I plugged it in, turned the system on. It does not wake it up. The lights will flash, it does not wake it up. Normally when you have, well, normally when you see the lights come on, on the controller there, it can usually wake up the system. It cannot. There are certain wired controllers that can wake up the system. Most of the time it's wireless. This one cannot. Let's see. Not terrible. Hmm. It feels like there's a slight delay between input and action. I don't know if you guys can see it. It feels off. Hmm. 
it feels off. <sighs> so it's exactly what I thought it would be. A secondary controller for little brother, little sister, someone coming over. You're not going to play, do not play Mario Kart. Do not play Smash with this. Do not. Unless you're giving it to a kid. If you're trying to do competitive in anything, Splatoon or whatnot, do not. I cannot recommend this controller for anything besides a secondary backup uh, controller for a kid, a niece, a nephew, brother, sister, what have you. It's $10. You're going to get what you pay for. Nyko usually makes some decent stuff, but the the cheap ones are just that. They're cheap. I can't recommend this for anything more than what I've stated. $10 controller, you get what you pay for. I don't like this. I'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I'll answer what I can. I probably won't ever use this controller again, just to let you guys know. A lot of people ask me, oh, but does it still do this? Does it still do this? How is it no acting now? I use a lot of controllers. I cover a lot of controllers. I don't use most of them after the initial video because they're just not good enough to use. And this is one of them that it's not good enough to continue using. If, you're, if you want to know my standard day-to-day -day controllers, for the Nintendo Switch are my wireless pro controllers from Nintendo or my 8-bit do SN30 Pro. SN30 and SN30 Pro. Those are the ones I use all the time. So that should tell you something. We're going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, again, drop it in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.